Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use uh, SW10 X-chip and Wolfram Mathematica to plot a temperature curve. So here, here we have a, a Raspberry Pi, there's the 3B Plus, uh, sponsored uh, by uh, RS Components. We have um, the SW10, the BIO1, and a connector. So let's first uh, assemble our temperature circuit here. So uh, the easiest one is probably to put this uh, thing here together first. So this is a temperature sensor. And then I have to plug in here in my first slot. The blue light comes on when it shows it's correct. And the temperature sensor is sitting there and it's connected to this screw hole here. So if you want to want to measure temperature on a, a, a piece of hardware. So here we got it. And then on the screen here, I'm going to open a little program I prepared uh, for the SV10. Um, so let me just quickly go through it. Uh, so the main program down here, and we have a function that reads a temperature here. So let's take the function first. So um, once we open the device, it's going to write um, to um, uh, 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 zero uh, to tell that we want to read from register zero. So the way it works in I square C is you first tell what register you want to uh, read from typically, and then you read afterwards. So here we write uh, that we want to read from register zero. And then uh, we actually read. We read two bytes because we need actually a word. So the way it works here in Wolfram is that we read two bytes in like that. And then in the next line, we combine them into a word. And then the data sheet says, listen, you have to uh, right shift five bits, and then you have to multiply by 0 0.125 to get the correct temperature. So the main program is very simple. We open the device. We have to use uh, decimal numbers here. It doesn't really like the hexadecimal version. And then we have our table here, which is uh, it's, uh, built a table. It pauses every uh, 200 milliseconds, and it reads the temperature here, and it does it 100 times. And when it finishes with that, we plot a table here. So let me just uh, try to do that here. So we say evaluate notebook. And we have 20 seconds to do this in here. So over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to heat up the sensor here by pressing a little bit hard on it. And then let go of it again. And uh, you can see up here on the top, it says running. And there we have it. So we kind of like got started on 30 and a half degrees and the temperature dropped down to a uh, uh, 29 degrees and one and a half degree dropped 